it is time to show you what the Amiga can do compared to a PC or a Mac with much faster processor. So let's go see what this 100 MHz O60 machine can do with 256 MB of RAM, fast RAM and 2 MB of chip RAM. Let's roll the show. I begin with the Eagle player. Now we have 212 megabyte of RAM still. Let's see how far we can take this machine. Let's load up the TV paint. Now it's TV paint. Let's load up a picture. Let's load it up. Still 197 MB of RAM. And nothing of the chip RAM has been used at all because we use Amiga OS in RTG mode. So, now we have Alita here in uh, TV Paint. It's quite a big uh, picture, uh, actually in 1920 by 1080, because sometimes I use uh, Amiga OS in higher resolutions. Uh, depends on, uh, it's better for me to show you what Amiga can do in lower, because you see more. <laughs> yeah. So, this is TV Paint. Eagle player, okay, two programs running. So let's fire up eyebrows. Okay, let's go to Urban Rail. .net website So now we have about 183 megabyte of RAM still Okay, we have TV Paint, we have Urban Rail website with lots of pictures and content. You can, for example, uh, choose Europe. Sorry, I can't uh, give you live feed of the sound from the Amiga when I use RTG. It's not possible for me. Okay, so now we have uh, eyebrows with a huge map here. And then let's, um, for example, fire up Paris. Let's move the window out a bit so it looks nice. So now we have Eagle Player running, TV Paint, and uh, Eyebrows. And it's a silky smooth HTML. So works really nicely. There's tons of pictures here. Um, maybe not so high. Um, 
high resolution pictures, but still this picture is quite big also. Um, yeah, how much memory we have? We have 172 megabyte of fast RAM still. So let's load up Mui Maparium for example. And I want it to open on a, on its own screen because it will be better for you all. We go to system here, call inspector. Ah, oh, it does have its own screen mode, but it is uh, very high. <laughs> so I will change the display to 32. Yeah, it's. Yeah, that's okay. And this. And then we choose Mui Maparium. Hmm. Okay. Now it opens in its own screen. This is uh, what I like about Amigos. You can have different screen modes for each program. Uh, especially if you use uh, MUI, it's easy to configure. Yeah, so let's uh, search for something like um, I don't know, um, Greenland. And since we uh, don't have a uh, scrolling wheel here, we can just... You can see... This is Amiga live right now! Let's see how they have it in Nuke with the Amiga. Oh, come on. This is 060. 100 megahertz. This is no gigahertz. Uh, there's no gigabyte of RAM. <laughs> this is uh, technology from uh, 95, 96. Working with uh, technology from 92, mm, sort of. Mm. So, let's see how much mem we still have. Now we have 138 megabytes of fast RAM. And we are running this um, Eagle Player. Uh, Movie Map Parium, uh, which is uh, open street map, uh, map um, application. TV Paint. And um, we are loaded a picture here. And um, eyebrows. Looking at Paris um, subway system, you can scroll. There's no lag in the system at all. Yeah. So, next is Amirk, for example. You can open it up. <laughs> And then we can chat on Irk. So this is Amiga multitasking. This is Amiga working as it should. Okay. Now we should uh, find some programs that uh, we can use together. Uh, I have Final Writer, for example. Aha, uh -huh. it opens correctly also. You see, it's white. So open document 
and let's go for the test. See, now we have final right here. We have uh, a little bit blinking, so I think it's a little bit different mode. So, TV paint, eyebrows, mirror mapparium, uh, final writer, eagle player, um, Amirk, and we still have 131 megabyte of RAM. <laughs> And that is uh, the cool stuff here. Let's uh, run Dupus Maglan also. With it you can uh, uh, transfer files uh, easier. It's sort of an external de desktop, another desktop uh, for Amigos. You can also use it as a workbench re replacement, but uh, with Amigos 3.2 I think Amigos is has come so far that it's okay. See? So many applications up at the same time. This is all running as, as at the same time. System, you can uh, change uh, about. I mean, Germany is about. Uh, I mean, Germany is by Carl Jettle. And you can, of course, use this. Uh, here's some links to CNN, for example. And you can read about the latest news there. Let's just use it for now. For the Linux. Let's load it up. And now it's running in much uh, higher resolution, it seems. Mm, yes, it is. Hmm. My grabber doesn't like it. So let's uh, use 1280 by 720p. And then let's load up a JPEG picture. I love Alita, yes. So let's. Load up uh, more pictures. This is a screen grabs that I have been uh, done uh, made uh, for myself <laughs> before. So let's see. Now we have eighty four megabytes of RAM. Still, we are running Photogenics Directory Opus. TV paint, eyebrows, Mui Maparium, Final Writer, uh, Ami Jimani, Eagle Player, Amirik, all at uh, the same time, and still we have lots of uh, mem, <laughs> which is pretty uh, cool. And then we have something called Amicad, where you can design your house, I guess. I'm not so into uh, CAD systems. I just um, downloaded in this for yeah, for fun. This is a huge load uh, sheets. See, you can use Amiga for many uh, things. This is uh, sheets for um, processors, I think. Mm. 
can load more. I don't know what this is. Let's see and say that is uh, nice in nice enough. Now, uh, now we have 80 megabytes of RAM. We have Amicad, we have Photogenix, we have Directory Opus, we have um, TV Paint, we have uh, Eyebrows, we have Mui Mapadium up and running, we have Final Writer here, um, Ami Gemini, um, Eagle Player, <laughs> tons of programs. Um, we have Publishers, we have a PDF Reader here. So you can check out PDF files on the Amiga. Let's see if uh, we can uh, play a game. Maybe a steroid, for example. Does it ro load up at all? Maybe it opens in Dupus? Yeah, it, it does. <laughs> the colors are a little bit odd, but uh, it still works very nicely. <laughs> So, now we're playing game uh, while we have tons of other programs uh, up and running. Um, so this is uh, 060. <laughs> um, RTG, Amiga in RTG. Um, so if someone says that uh, RTG on Amiga is bad, I can really recommend it <laughs> yeah you won't hear this um, so, uh, music from this uh, uh, game now because uh, Eagle player is, is using all of the audio channels but still you can imagine the music in this game Yeah! So, we can multitask TV Paint, Eyebrows, Movie My Podium, Final Writer, uh, J Mining, uh, PDF Reader, Eagle Play Running, Amidic, um, Amicad. Photogenics and this and there's no slowdowns at all. <laughs> this is uh, what Amiga OS is and why this uh, operating system is available for mobile phones. <laughs> I don't understand it because you can do so much with this and you can customize. Uh, Amiga was as you want. There's no, absolutely no limitations there. It's only your uh, imagination that is limiting. And Amiga can can't do this, can't do that. <laughs> yeah. So. So how much mem do we have now? We have 70 megabytes of RAM still, and. Tons of chip memory also. The, yes, the, the game VBS storage uh, takes a little bit from it, to, so that's okay. So now we have seen that Amiga OS in RTG is really cool. And yeah, just look at what the Amiga can do um, as long as the programs are stable.
you can use Amigos for uh, tons of things. Uh, PDF, uh, HTML, graphics, uh, music, uh, gaming. Uh, yeah, so if you don't uh, need uh, 3D graphics and CSS browsing, uh, YouTube, etc., you can do it all on in AmigaOS and without any interruptions. So I really recommend using Amiga OS on RTG together with the Amiga video, of course. So hope you learned something. This is Emitopia TV. Subscribe and have an awesome, awesome day.